Ho, ho, ho! No pun intended. Welcome, guys, to our Home Away From Home Christmas special. Now, Christmas to many Christians is really just about the birth of Jesus Christ. But many immigrants out here literally plan years ahead of time or even like months ahead of time um, to just go back home to celebrate with their family, with their loved ones, because really that's the heart of Christmas. That's what it's all about. For me personally, Christmas, oh my gosh, was literally just about um, presents. I was so blessed and so lucky that um, growing up, we knew who Father Christmas was, right? We know out here in um, America as Santa Claus, but we knew who Father Christmas was. And so we woke up at like 6 a.m. each morning on Christmas Day and just opened up presents and ate like a hearty breakfast. And then of course, like got ready, got dressed, and we went over to our families and ate and did all that fun stuff with our loved ones. But on that note, we have someone here with us here today. Um, he's joining us again, Benji right and yes. speaking about christmas and just being a joy and it just being a joyous season what is christmas to you what was it like for you? okay uh like i told you before i'm from <laughs> kenya yeah, right? i grew up in nairobi and in your introduction you talked about having all these presents and all right. that stuff that was not christmas for us we what? Were, i'm serious that's an american thing my kids are growing up here they right. are having all that fun that you, you spoke about right but for me Mm -mm. There was no Christmas was really just going to church. Oh wow! That's it. You go to church. You go. You you eat like the special food that mom will make. It's an oh, expensive. Man. It was expensive for us, but at that time, that was Christmas. Right. Over here, oh the okay. It's like everybody's waiting for Christmas. Right. There's the trees. There's whatnot. I never saw a Christmas tree when I was growing up. All that stuff oh, I experienced here in the United States. And my, my, my daughter, Ida, who was, who was the only one we had at that time. Right. She experienced all the joys that American kids experienced right. in America because we did all that stuff. Because she expected it anyway when she's at school. Right. Kids are talking about that. I feel like we've kind of lost. Yes, the We've true lost spirit the of true Christmas. Spirit, right. Yeah, that's, that is true. Because nowadays, Christmas is all about spending money. It's like parents, even... Uh, let me speak about myself right now. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm stressing out. <laughs> How much money I'm going to spend on, because the kids expect all sorts of gifts. Right. And I'm like, like you just said, you know, the true spirit of Christmas is really when Jesus was born. Right. And we're comm commemorating that, you know, at that time. And it's of times of singing carols, people happy, you know, hey, the birth of Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world. Yeah. Now it's all a commercialized thing. It's all about... Ooh, what gift am I gonna get? Oh. And kids are not even very, you know, kids don't even see how much money you put in to give them that gift. They expect right. a certain gift. If you don't give them that gift, it's a problem. Christmas, we've lost it. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like adapted to the American way of celebrating Christmas. Yeah, I've sort of adapted right. because I have done what they've always done, but I was missing going to church. Right. But, but for the first time last year, my pastor, lucky for us, okay. he introduced going to church December the 25th because that looks like it happens to their, uh, where he came from too. Mm -hmm. He's from South Africa. Right. And that's what we used to do also. So me, I was so happy when the, when, the, when the pastor introduced that for the last, for the first time last year was the very first time. This year is going to be the second time we're going to church. And uh, I'm a happy guy. Right, I'm sure you are. I am so glad that my pastor did that. Right. So although I do these, the, okay, we go out to eat mm -hmm. uh, like the Americans do, but then there's the go added, out to the eat. Added, yeah, we go out to the, the restaurants and stuff. What do you mean? After church. Oh, yeah. okay. On Before, Christmas. Before, yes, on Christmas, or on Christmas Day. Before it was just going to eat. That's it. What? But now we have my old way going to church first. And then oh. For me. We just all cook again, but then again, for me, we really don't have church, right? No, really. <laughs> so really. we have we have um, a Christmas candlelight service the day before Christmas Eve oh. at night, okay. right? Where we all go and we light up candles and oh. it's Christmas caroling, and okay. it's fun. It's, it's fun, same, yeah. right? It's fun for the family. But Christmas morning, we all just kind of like go to the 
whoever has the biggest house, we mm -hmm. go there. Mm -hmm. The entire family, extended, close, everybody. We all meet at that house in the morning. Mm -hmm. You know, um, guys usually are good, do nothing. <laughs> no, uh, I'm not going to lie. Really they try to good. act like they're doing something, <laughs> clean up or something, but they're usually doing absolutely nothing. Mowing the lawn, really. uh, There's like, maybe they'll turn on the TV uh, <laughs> and try to like watch some type of game. You're mm -hmm. like, what, what are we doing? Are we eating? No, mm -hmm. we're not. Come on. <laughs> anyway, we cook. <laughs> You know, we enjoy and we just create those memories, you know? Right. And I feel like that's the thing that we need the most. We never thought about actually going out to eat for Christmas, but mm -hmm. maybe we'll try it one of these days. Why not? Yeah. I feel like it would be a blessing to everyone. Yeah, that's cook. the American way. <laughs> right, right. That, that's the day every restaurant is packed to the max. Is that so? Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. Okay, see, I feel like I've been stuck in my way so much that I missed out on an entire <laughs> thing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, it's just so fun to always just tune in with you guys. Um, if you have anything, of course, to add to, about your Christmas, please feel free to share it. Benji, it's always great to just sit here and really talk to you because he's just such a cool guy. Okay, I have to share this with you guys. I'm looking at his shoes. He has pennies in his <laughs> shoes. He goes, they're penny loafers. Yeah, they're right. cool. that's what they're called, penny loafers. Okay, can't argue, how do you argue? You can't argue with that. So I didn't. I left it. That's home. an American thing. Talking about <laughs> adapting, that's American. Right? <laughs> right? But once again, thank you so much for just being here with us You're and taking welcome. the time out. We appreciate you. Thank you. And for just the me. person that you are, you know? <laughs> taking out time to come on in our Christmas special. We know this is like the hardest time of the year to catch people. But yes. thank you for that. Always nice coming to be interviewed by a pretty face like yours. This guy. <laughs> this guy. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> With us here today, we have the one, the only, Reverend Magala. Just, she's here to just share with us her memories, really, of her childhood and just the differences of her being um, in Uganda and spending Christmas there and just being here and spending Christmas here. Um, just a little bit about yourself. You know, how long have you been here? Um, you know, like, what do you do? And just, we know you're a reverend, but I mean, like, well, what, what's in your daily, like, plan? I've been here about more than 20 years. Oh, that's a little older older than me. Okay. Two of my kids were born here. Right. Um, I'm a priest in the Episcopal Church, the Anglican Church. Got it. And I work as an Anglican priest right here. I work full time at St. Mark's Episcopal Church. What's Christmas to you? It is the celebration of the greatest gift that has been given to us. Okay. In the person of Jesus Christ. What are some of your memories or your experiences just spending Christmas back at home and spending Christmas here? Mm -hmm. Everybody goes to church in Uganda on Christmas Day, even we're those who have not been to church. <laughs> it's funny, we just kind of talk about this. Yeah, and I was just church. saying how we only went to church when we were in the village. Mm -hmm. Like when we'd go to the village for Christmas, mm -hmm. that's the only time we went to church. But when we were in the city, mm -hmm. we didn't church in Christmas. <laughs> Everybody goes to church in Uganda on Christmas Day. Right. And our services are very, very long. They are three, four hours Ooh. on Christmas Day. And Christmas Day is a time when many people travel from the cities to go to the village right. to celebrate with their families. Right. So churches take advantage of that situation. And because there are so many people who have come in from the city who probably has more, have more money than the regular people. They spend a lot of time fundraising in that church like crazy. Oh, got it. So services go on and on for a long time. Oh, wow. But people like it. Right. Mm -hmm. You said something about how at home we do, we celebrate, um, we celebrate with our families, but out here it's more community-based. Because we have been uprooted from our communities and we find ourselves here, Right. there are a lot of people who are by themselves, who have no homes and families as well. Right. And so we decided as a church to have a Christmas service at noon on Christmas Day. Okay. And then have lunch with anybody else who doesn't have a place to go. Wow. Uh, before we started that, I used to host people at my house. That's amazing. And, and you'd feed 50, them all? 60 people came through, yes. Whew. I used to do that. But then eventually the whole church caught on. <laughs> And they decided, right. okay, we shall have a service with everybody else. And right. We shall eat together. So that's what we do. And everybody's welcome. 
What's the difference between the food here and the food back at home? Well, in Uganda, we are mainly a vegetarian society. See, I didn't know that. Yes. I learned that today. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know we the eat. food we eat, mm -hmm. but I never actually noticed that we really do eat a lot yeah, of we vegetables. We eat a lot of huh? beans, a lot of beans, uh, ground nuts yeah. and peas on a regular basis. Right. Most Uganda families will eat meat or fish or chicken on weekends, regular homes, that is. Right. But even then, they don't eat it in abundance. Yeah. But on Christmas Day in Uganda, that is when people buy more meat than usual. Right. So everybody eats as much as they can. Right. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the American way of celebrating Christmas? Some With of it is wonderful. Right. What I really like about the American celebration is the, 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 uh, is the decorations outside the homes. Those are right? beautiful. Isn't and that I crazy? Think, and as a preacher, I like that because Jesus came in a world that was dark. Right. They needed a savior. And the decorations outside to me is a recognition of the light of the world mm, that's that has good. come to us. And I like those. Right. I think they are good. But I think where it stops is people spend a lot of time decorating the outside of their homes, but do not take much care of their hearts. Mm, and right. I'd love to see people taking care of them, you know, in addition to decorating their homes, they take care of the heart. You put it so well, really. Prepare the outside, but really not take care yes. of I the wish, inside. But the two should go together. It should, right. And I think at the end of the day, there's a kid I used to teach in Sunday school. She's been, she's dead now. She oh, wow. Oh. In a car accident. But she used to I'm say, sorry. God does not like a dirty heart. No. And this is what Christmas is all about. Right. That Jesus will be born in our hearts. Right. And that he will find a clean heart to rest in and to reside in. What's the difference between you receiving presents back at home mm -hmm. and you receiving presents here? Is there a difference or is it just something that you feel like is just simply done? When I was a little girl, we only received one present. And the reason we did was, I don't know why we didn't receive many, but that's what we received. Each one of us got one present. Right. And of course, a new dress, a new shoes. Right. But here, there's such abundance of everything. And I think everything is pushed by the business people wanting yeah. us to buy. Yeah. And I think that's where the, sh the whole thing comes. There's nothing wrong with presents, but I think God has given us the greatest gift in Jesus. Mm -hmm. And although we may not be the biological mothers of Mary, of Jesus, like Mary was, right. yet because Jesus resides in our hearts, we are the spiritual mothers of this of Jesus. We are the people to give him to the world. So the gift that has been given to us needs to be given to the world. And because of that, we need to give people. We need to give others. I just want to wish everybody a, happy, a Merry Christmas and a great New Year. Um, I want to reach out to my dear husband, Sam, and my kids, and my community. Merry, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I want to thank you personally for giving us your time you know, and for coming out here and for sitting here with us today and for anybody tuning in again, guys, feel free to just leave a comment down below and just let us know what you feel about just Christmas in general, mm -hmm. giving, giving just on holidays or really giving any time. Mm -hmm. I feel, you know, just let us know what you think. Here with you today, home away from home. <laughs> Uwe na siku kunjema, uwe na siku kunjema, na mwaka mpia. Uwe na siku kunjema, uwe na siku kunjema, uwe na siku kunjema, na mwaka